it is Thursday, the 23rd of September, and you are joining us for the penultimate. That's right, I said penultimate. And that means second to last. Round of the BRSC, BRSCC Mazda yeah. MX5 Championship, and where are we? Wellington. Nice. Yeah. Unfamiliar surroundings. I know we've never stayed at the track at, at Donny. Haven't we? No. But not just that, like the big thing, no caravan anymore. That is true, yeah, welcome to the hut, <clears throat> the Inflato tent. That's what we named it last night, Inflato tent. Well, I named it. Yes. Uh, yeah, the Inflato tent, it's fully inflatable, as you can see these tubes here. Now as you sort of look above us, they join in the middle. It looks a lot like the Mind Flare from Stranger Things. <laughs> um, and this is this is our, our home for uh, race weekends now. Yeah, oh, I said it was Thursday, it's actually Friday. It is Friday. It's because yeah. we arrived on the Thursday last night you like. and we slept in the roof tent, mm -hmm. which was super cozy. And we are right next to East Midlands Airport. And when I say right next to East Midlands Airport, I mean, you could probably spit and hit East Midlands Airport from here. And it kind of feels like the planes are just coming down and <laughs> clipping the top of the roof tent. It's very loud. <laughs> you're just trying to go to sleep. And then you've got the planes coming in. It didn't help as well. Now to be in a Thursday night, a lot of people are still rocking up to the track. Yeah, spannering. Yeah. <laughs> Cracking around. Yeah. Car Which alarms. Which very considerate. To do that at a racetrack is just yes. it's not, not on. So it's coming up for nine o'clock. Well, it is uh, half past eight. Uh, so the format for t this weekend is little be testing today. And then tomorrow um, we have qualifying and then one race and then Sunday two races. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel good. I feel like I did for Cadwell. Just looking forward to getting my race car again, really. Yeah. In five weeks, been a little while. It feels like it's been a long time between race meetings. It does feel like a long time. Yeah. Yeah. It's been one week longer than normal, I think. Yeah. But then I think Snetterton after this is having like three or four weeks. It's like, it's not a lot. Yeah. Fair play for you to go through the filming and not look around you too much because we've got lots of these like spidey fellas. Luke hasn't realised there's one right next to him. Shut up. <laughs> Where? You have a little friend just here. Woo! <laughs> 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 um, and yeah, this is our first time in the setup, uh, in, a, in our new setup, because we've um, we got the we got rid of the caravan because we're going to need to drag a race car around. And yeah, what do you think of the new setup so far? I really like it. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So this is a Robins Aero Yurt, and it is. Do you know what it is? It's cavernous. <laughs> yeah, it is so, cavernous. So we got all our gear. We got some gluten-free beers there for Luke for the weekend, got some water, got some near beers for me. This is our little, you know, utility table. And we've got some very useful boxes, that's actually what they're called, for storing our gear in. Useful box. Plenty of chairs because uh, Daisy and Tracy will be joining us on Saturday. Phil and Leon will be here tomorrow. We've probably got some other friends coming along as well. So, and we're really close to the awning as well, but I want to give you a little tour of our little, it's like a little safari setup. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of your best safari boys. So, look, there's a plane there, noisy buggers. So, this is our setup. So, that's a new tent. That's the paddock bike. That is our van. I'm going to take you up for a tour of the roof tent. <coughs> There we go, that's where me and Luke was there. I was there. This is supposed, you can sleep two adults and a kid in here. And it is, see you later mate, love you. And it's, um, yeah, it's really cozy. We've also put an extra mattress in as well. And the game changer for me, because I'm a clean freak, we've brought the camping shower, the Julka. So you attach the gas to the hot tap, the hot tap to the water, and the water comes out through here into our little ensuite. Not use it yet, plenty of daddy long legs in here. Got my, got my toilet trees and odds and sods hanging my tower there. And I'm gonna use this in a minute. So yeah, I am well impressed with our setup. So yeah, it's a plane. Very noisy. Right, we're gonna see what's going on for the rest of the day. Right, I'm just going for my first shower in the shower tent. So it's all set up, obviously. Not in a nod yet. So basically, this is the the shower hose that comes in, and there's the <coughs> shower head. And see this little doodah there? When you turn that on, that turns on the gas, 
the shower unit ignites the gas, the pump turns on, so at the moment it's, all of this is off. So as soon as you turn that on, the gas goes into the white unit, that ignites, it's got a little battery in there, that turns on the pump, well the pump's plugged into the cigarette lighter in the van, and that starts drawing water from there, and the hot water is instant. So I've got my toiletries in there, I've got my towel here, I've got my dry clothes in here, in here. I've got my smellies there. Really impressed with it. First shower going down. Right, all scrubbed. That was awesome. That was 10 out of 10. Super hot, super powerful. Yeah, well happy. Um, where you stand on both sides of like the cubicle bit, like the, there's, there's like the main bit that you stand on and then around the outside of that it's like mesh and in the middle there's like a little tab that you lift up and it just drains it all off so yeah really really good just seen lovely Kev gonna go and say good morning <laughs> first session <laughs> don't do that first test session done how was that that was all right my v-box didn't work so I don't know what time it is but uh, I didn't feel that much slower than Foden. And Foden's like Foden's super second, fast. Yeah, second on the so um, but I've got no idea what time I was actually doing. Are you happy with the setup? Love the setup. I'm not mechanically minded, but I feel like this either needs a new clutch or a new dip. Because um, the last two hairpins, there's a lot of slip. So there's no, uh, I'm putting the power down, but it's not going to the wheels. The revs are climbing, but no power's been put on the track. So, uh, like I say, I don't know whether that's a uh, dip or clutch. I'm managing it for now, but I, I want, I kind of want Ali to take out for a couple of laps and be like, what does this need? And then hopefully we can, we can get that sorted. But setup wise, it feels perfect. So you're going to go out for the next set, uh, so you get four test sessions today, 25 minutes each. You're going to go out for the next one, have a good old pack. Yeah. See how it feels, see yeah. if the tracks change. Oh. And then, and then uh, get Ali to try it after lunch. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's good vibes here today. It's very nice vibes. The dining is great. Yeah. It's a good there. track for us. It is. You got your first ever award. Yeah. First then. ever trophy and your first ever. How did you on? Might get some more this weekend. Yeah. I'm gonna have my lucky charm here. Oh yeah. Got Jimbo. Jimbo. Nice. Right, see you in a bit. Right, so we had a spot of lunch. Luke's done his second test session and not overly happy with the dip. So, lovely Will under there is popping a diff in for him. Right, new diff going in. New diff. What will that do? Um, so, basically, the last two corners are quite tight, like hair for my corners. What's happening is the dip is spinning up, which basically means I'm putting my foot down to apply the power, and whilst the engine's revving, that power's not actually going to the wheels, the dip is just going, ooh, no, I don't know what to do with that, so I'm not getting any power down. This new dip is gonna mean that when I put my foot on the accelerator in those slower corners, it's still gonna apply the power to the wheels, and that should give me quite a lot of time, really. Awesome, have fun. All good? Better? You better. look quick. Yeah, better. Uh, so we're five tenths quicker now. Uh, That's massive. That's yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Uh, oh, hello. We're on the vlog now. We. This is, this is Will, the, the man who gave us those five tenths. The man who changed the diff. Thanks for changing the diff, Will. I got some nice footage of you scrambling under the car. Did I look like a mad panic? Did I? Yeah. How are you? Right. It's been a long day already. You are. Look. No one's ever going to see this, but you are the hardest working one here, aren't you? I'll tell you that, yeah. yeah. I feel like that. Yeah. How's it going? I don't know, we're getting there. It's just taking a long time. I just was hoping we'd be there straight away. But we'll get there eventually. Yeah. So there's issues. Issues that we need to solve. Who, who's called, out of all, all of your drivers, who's causing you the most issues? Pick was it just like where do I start? <laughs> I think every driver has been giving us issues. I mean, 
diff with loot. Oh, hang on, man. But, but Frank, who who did any... the initial damage to that previous diff, though? Well, you know, that, that who, who got you the podium? Me! I drove the car before that. The car was winning. I'm, I'm going to leave this here, because this is probably going to go on for a while. Right, so he seems to be happy. Him and Will are sorting their differences out or something like that. But something that, diff that is kind of different this weekend that has happened before Ali, who is the team boss with his wife, Nikki, um, he's racing the Mark III's. So I think he's just going out for a test session. They've, uh, they've been playing around with a car, so that's gonna add like an extra dimension to the race weekends for us, because it's lovely cheering on the people that, you know, that are in the race that you're in and in the Mark III's as well. So having Ali in the Mark III's, it's gonna be mega. Right, that's Luke heading out for the last test session of the day. Pretty happy with the setup. I think he's just gonna try a little bit of setup on the rear. But, you know, if, if we default to what we've got at the moment, that's good. So yeah, pretty good. I'm gonna go up to the uh, grandstand and wash him. Wash him, wash him. And watch him with my biscuits. And I've just seen someone's Mark III come in. It's someone I really like. Testing all done. Happy? Oh, being blog. Yeah, I'm pleased, mate. I'm pleased. I, uh, I'm still, the dip is still, I don't know, I don't know. It's not quite putting the power down in the last hairpin, as I would like, but that is a trait of the Mazdas. Um, so I'm just being very, very gentle with the throttle through there. Hay seems to be in the ballpark, so, yeah, we'll just be in the mix tomorrow. And then wait for everyone else to crash themselves off the track. And then we'll poach some spots. Just like we did last year. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Right, track walk time. This isn't walking, Keith. It's cycling. <laughs> Welcome to the track bicycle. Uh, do you, what do you think of Donington Park as a track? I love it. Do you? I love Donny. What do you like about it? I like the vibes. I like Gandhi's. <laughs> yeah, but you're talking about the vibes and a really good Indian restaurant. So the track is really good for racing. It's very fast and very flowing. But it's also very wide. Um, so I love Cadwell and Alton as a place to drive but they're not that wide so it doesn't really promote a lot of racing in terms of two three car wide around here parts of the track really open up there's a lot of flowing flowing corners with decent braking zones so quite often especially through here i think it's mclean's you'll get two cars wide pretty regularly and it's one of those tracks where to be honest you can get an overtake done at any corner um, if your mentality is right, you can do anyone at any corner at any track. But around here, there's not really any corner where you go, or oh, shouldn't do it there. Maybe old hairpin if you're a baby. <laughs> full send it at all times. It's a great track, it's really good for racing, and we've always gone well here. How did testing go today? Yeah, overall? Good. Overall good. Um, still spinning up the diff through the uh, hairpins, but kind of a trait of the Mark ones anyway so I'm just gonna live with that and manage it as best I can but around everywhere else on the track setup feels great car feels really balanced and uh, pace seems to be in the in the ballpark seems to be in a good spot so yeah slightly out of breath so that feels like a bigger hill on a bike than it does in a car <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. We just cycled up that. Oh, a lovely evening. Oh, Ooh, lovely evening. Oh, lovely evening. But yeah, we went full send down three of the curves into Old Hairpin. Ooh. Um, so yeah, this is a quite a fun track to cycle, really. It doesn't feel like it's... Cadwell and Alton are very sort of... They're too hilly for cycling. Whereas this feels manageable. It's nice, isn't it? I like it. So I think for tonight, hold on, I'm going to have to go no-handed. Whoa! Uh. Whoa. <laughs> so tonight the plan will be to hang in the awning, catch up on some good vibes. So we'll see you lovely lot in the morning. Right, it's coming up for 20 past eight. Uh, another noisy aircraft sleep up in the roof tent. Super cozy though and very comfortable. Just had a shower in the Jorka. That is 10 out of 10. Absolutely loving it. And really, really loving our setup here. Like the year is awesome. The weather has been lovely, but I think this is where we're at. Could do with a little cooler box. That would really help. But other than that, 
we are all good. So Luke's got driver briefing in about 10 minutes and I think we're out for quali at 10.30. We've got some friends coming along today and we've got um, Tracy and Daisy will be here late afternoon. Might be going out for a team meal tonight, not 100% sure on that at the moment because there might be too many of us. Um, but yeah, we'll see how the day goes. So yeah, quali at 20 past 10 and I think Luke's first race is at 10 past 1. So yeah, looking forward to a lovely day and another glorious morning in Donington. There is movement up in the roof tent. You up there, Luke? Hello. 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 Sit your head out. <laughs> you right? Yeah, you? Yeah, good man. Coming up for 10 o'clock, everyone's getting ready for quali. There's Brad Jones over there. There's Luke getting ready. Um, we've got the noisy super carts out at the moment, tearing around. These things are absolutely ballistic. So yeah, getting ready for quali. I'm gonna go and sit up at the grandstands and watch the quali and um, see how the boys are getting on. How are you feeling? Good. All good, car feel good? Yeah, I think so, I think we're gonna have fun. Good luck. Quali done, Luke's qualified in P14. So, uh, you know, he can still do some damage from there. Luke seems to be much better at racing than qualifying and putting in that like wonder lap. So I'm gonna go and find him, make sure he's all right. Right, how are we doing? Personal best qualifying result. Said no one ever. Said no one ever, P14, pretty terrible. Um, no, that's not, well, it's, it's, not, it's not what we were hoping for really. No. Uh, but, you know, you don't get points for quali and a couple of us struggled out there, so I've got lovely, uh, lovely handsome Tom next to me on the grid. So we're going to work together as teammates, and try and get up the grid. I think it'll be a good race. Um, so I didn't, I didn't drive my best in quali. I, I don't know. Me and the car didn't fully get on in that one, but uh, once we once we figure a few stuff out and uh, go into that race, it should be good. We should have some fun. So you're going to work with Tom through this race? Yeah, yeah 100%. Because two cars travel better than... Two masters travel faster than one. So... Oh, yeah. Right, we're out at 20 past one. Yeah, we are. What time is it now? It is... Coming up for half eleven. Woo! Hello, Brad. Yeah. How do you? How are you? Oh, fine and then. Oh, so this is the segment called uh, Under the Car with Brad. How a lot of noise, a lot of mess. Get the job done. News flash. Oh, that was nice. Like that. Yeah. My little news flash squibble. What's going on? Got a new diff going. We're <laughs> <laughs> on the third diff of the weekend. Nice. Um, Different pretty, strokes. Oh, very nice. Thanks. Um, I've got no diff puns for you. Um, Difficult times. That makes no difference. Oh, nice. But uh, anyway, third diff's going in because the one that we put in was cracked. Um, so it was uh, not having the best time. It was leaking oil a little bit. It had been doing that since we put it in yesterday, but we just thought we hadn't tightened it on properly because uh, we put it on in a bit of a rush. So on the last spare diff of the weekend uh, that we got here, and we're going to go out. But we, we came in after um, Quali and Jack Nolo, who was behind me. <laughs> so I think he got a leak, and I looked over at his car, and he's just got like oil smeared across his windscreen because he was following me. And I was like, oh, I think it might be right. <laughs> so we came in, and Brad's had a look, and he was just like, yeah, the, the disc cracked. And then it's just one of those things. So they're putting another one on now. We're going to see how it goes. We'll have a fun old race. Nice, so it's coming up for, it's five past 12, and we're out in about an hour. Yeah. Oh, do you know where, and Ali, who's racing the Mark Three this weekend. I didn't check, where'd he quali? Where do you think he quali? Top five? Yep. Top three? Yep. He didn't pole it. He didn't pole it. Two? Yeah. Second? Yeah. Oh, where is he? <laughs> You're not is back he, yet. Yeah, he must be down there. <laughs> He's still dancing. <laughs> I'm gonna go find right, him. We're heading out, good we're luck. Out. I'm cold. Listen, can you liven yourself up, please? Right, look at me. Good luck. Right, so he's heading out. He's started in. He's starting in P14. New diff in. All to play for. I think this is going to be a very exciting race. What exciting, do you think? yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Leon, you're looking forward to it. P14 to P1. Let's do it. P1. Let's have it.
going on here? Oh, Luke's having a smashing time. <laughs> um, Picking the glass out of it for now. Yeah, so it's never been raced or rallied. One careless owner. However, the good news is the car feels great. So Luke has picked up, hopefully it's some race pressure you, you will have just seen. So Luke finished in um, P12, um, but picked up some damage, especially this bit here, which was slowing him down, because every time he turned the corner, it was rubbing on the tire, so he lost, um, lost speed and, you know, couldn't really compete as well as he wanted to. So he has finished in, this is what I have to put up with. Um, so he couldn't really compete how he wanted to, however, the new diff, mega. So, um, yeah, P12 is great because tomorrow he gets a good start, going a couple of places, new diff, looks brilliant driving, working with teammates. So yeah, onwards and upwards. So a bit of prep to do, a couple of dings to bang out. But yeah, overall, you know, really happy. And because when you're watching it, I couldn't see the damage on the car because you're only seeing bits of the track. I was just like, oh, there must be something wrong. And normally when I think that, it's like something bad or something big, like power issue or diff or setup. But he's happy, which makes obviously me happy. So the car feels good, it feels good. Get those dents pulled out. More racing tomorrow. It is half past, no, it's 20 past nine. What day is it? Sunday. Sunday. It's really the like the proper race day today, isn't it? Because we've got two races. Girls, how was your night in the Premier Inn? Very hot, very nice, yeah. They can go street chocolate. Nice. You get a free quality street, the purple one. Nice. When you stay in the Premier Inn, well. And we had a fantastic curry last night. How was your food? It was really nice. Awesome. Oh, really lovely. Like, right, what we didn't do last yesterday, we didn't catch up after your race. So, after the race, started 14, finished 12. Not great in terms of results. But considering the damage that we had, pretty good. Um, put a new diff in, <laughs> so third diff of the weekend. This one's back on the money. It solved the problem that we had, especially through that last sector. Uh, and the car, if undamaged, I reckon it's seven tenths a lap quicker now. Yeah. Really? I think it's much quicker. Yeah, I was losing, it was killing me in that last sector. But unfortunately, on that one, turn one, um, just got bottled up. I uh, didn't really have anywhere to go. Car in front of me kind of got spun and then they bounced with another car, ricocheted to me. They just folded the bodywork into the wheel, um, which just meant for the rest of the race, the bodywork was rubbing uh, on the wheel. So if I had any, uh, so the steering was slightly off and if any uh, steering lock was put on through the corners, it scraped on that and it, it lost time. It's, it's put a nice little like carving into the tire. Yeah. Um, and we managed, I think I dropped down to around 17th, 18th, and then managed to climb up to 12th in the end. Um, helped by the fact that there was a, uh, a large incident yes. uh, at the front involving um, Courtney and Jack. When Courtney, uh, I believe, had a brake failure and then... Yeah, Launched yourself into the air. Launched herself, it was a biggie. So they're, they're both okay, the car's a little bit worse off, but they're both fine. And it was two places up, which is, you know, secondary to all that. But finished 12th, um, car's all straightened out now, I reckon two races today, if I can keep my nose clean, stay out of trouble a bit. Should be, uh, should be up some good results. Nice! At the moment, that goes through another one. I am, I am quickly to that on the on a, on a clean run. Awesome. Got Phil here. <laughs> <laughs> right, how are we feeling? Uh, yeah, I feel good. Nice. Yeah. 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 Plan is? Go fast, have fun. Nice. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Bradley. How are we doing? Very well. Talk us through yesterday. Oh, it's yes, a good one. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah. To seven. Yeah. A bit of back and forth tussling going on with a few drivers. So where are you starting today? Seven. Nice. Excited stuff. How was the race yesterday? How's the car feeling? Right. Yeah, car felt good. Yeah. Good. We had a loose something or other to do with camber. So yeah. Hopefully we'll be a bit more settled today. Yeah. And not twitchy all over the place. Full grid. It's 43 out there. 43, I know. And so you're starting in P7. Yeah. Right, what's your plan? Set it into the race. Just yeah. see what things, what, what, what things open and progress. Good luck, brother. Yeah, thank you. Right, Bo Parry, how are we? Good. Good race yesterday? Really good, yeah. Nice, P14. 
P16. Nice. That's 14 is Tim. Right? right, so what's your plan for today? Uh, move forward. Move forward. Try and stick on to the back of the quick guys and lose my pack. Yeah. Let them tangle with themselves and uh, yeah. Move forward. How was the race yesterday? What was it like out there? Uh, messy. It was hectic, wasn't it? I, I got I got hit left right centre, but I managed to get through. But... Yeah, how's the car feeling? Good. Awesome. Feeling better. Cars oh, good, usual. Yeah. Right. Good luck. Good luck, mate.
Anyway, it looks like more drama. Was running really, really well, but he's dropped off. Can't see him anymore. He's not on the live stream, not on TSL timing. So it looks like he's had an issue. So we're going to go and find out what's going on. Welcome back to uh, <laughs> more mechanical disappointment. Uh, looks like Luke's got a slight engine issue. So they're under the car. Lovely Brad as always, wiggling about. Trying to mend stuff. <laughs> you look like you're having um, a lovely time out there. Yeah, I was, yeah. Yeah. Had a lot of fun. And then. I like wasn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, really, really unlucky. Um, car overheated. Uh, we think it was the case of some gravel being kicked up and shooting into the engine in the wrong places, and then they said, oh, that's. Thank you, Brad. You. The power of TV magic. This isn't supposed to look like that. It's meant to be like a fake moustache. It's supposed to, cut, yeah. Right. Go compare. So, so that's probably rub car stuff on me. But it's supposed to kind of look a little bit like this all the way through. But as you can see, it gives up a little bit around about there, <laughs> uh, which will probably be the doing of some uh, gravelly stony boys. So that broke, and then as I'm going around, um, kicked out a bit of oil at Redgate. And uh, I thought something doesn't feel right with the car, so I thought I'll have a glance down at the temperature. And the temperature was pretty high, should never really be there. I mean, it wasn't off the scale, that's when you know the car is gone, gone. But it was like, it was up there, and I thought, that's not good. So, despite being, I don't know what position I was in, but I was in the fight. I, I think you're in eighth or ninth. Eighth or ninth, but that whole group was in the fight for second and third, really. Yeah. You know, anyone could have had it. Uh, and I've just gone, well, switch it all off. Good boy. Uh, I'll, I'll be interested to see Tom's footage because he was a little, a little bit behind me, and uh, I absolutely flew off the track as soon as I saw it. I went, oh. nope. <laughs> full speed. I forgot to brake, so I was so focused on just switching everything off. I've launched it across the grass, and I started bouncing. I've gone. Not sure that was the best decision, but you know, I don't want to do any more. We'll, we'll have your onboard from that, I think. Yeah. Right. Well done, mate. Right, so Kev's heading out for the Clubman. I think there's had some engine issues, and it's all systems go. So he's literally got 20 seconds to get to the start line. So that was tight. Right, just had a spot of lunch, very nice in the canteen. We're sort of half packing down in readiness for like the, the main pack down. And Luke's got his new auxiliary belt on the car and we should be going out in about 30 minutes. He's starting from, I think it's about 42 on the grid and he's starting in 37. So, see where he can, see what, see what damage he can do from there. What's going on? Huh? Hey. Chair there. Chair there. Uh, what's going on? Just been to watch Ali. Yeah? That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, what, what are you talking about? What'd you get? What, a tweet? No. Then? Yeah. I'm talking about racing. Yeah. Oh, that's why we're here, aren't we? What'd you get? Seven. That's two sevens. That's mega, mate. It's more than all right now. How was the race? I'm good. <laughs> uh, it was all right. Hard. Um, yeah, it was hard. It was about full. A lot of overdrive, and I think a couple of tyres. Hard work to stay there. If yeah. Honest, you know, um, which probably then done the tyres. And then hitting a tire stack, you know. No, never, not, never a good idea. So you're starting in seventh for the Probably next race, seven. for the last race of the weekend. Yeah. What's the plan? Just stick there. Well, not See you again, really. Maybe do the in, inside line like we did last time. Yeah. Make some positions up. Fingers crossed for you, mate. Thank you, mate. Good Thank luck. You. Right, Mr. Tim Dorr, how's your weekend? Up and down. Go on in. Car's sorted now. Yeah. Now I need to sort the driver. The driver was sorted Friday, but the car was crap. <laughs> now so, now so we're you... trying to line the two together. Right, so you had the first race. First race was good. Car made use of the carnage, 14th. Stayed there for the second race. Yeah. Trying to do a bit better for the third. So third I'm race. Luke through, but I'm, I'm sticking on his tail. <laughs> uh, so Luke, so you're starting in 14th? Yep. Right, and you're what, what's the plan? What's the what would what's the goal? What's the dream? Top 10. Right, fingers crossed, man. 
Right, heading out for the last, don't you get involved, <laughs> heading out for the last race of the day. What's your plan? Yeah, Starting yeah. at the back of the grid. Starting at the back of the grid. I want 15 on the first lap. I want to, I'm just going to go fast, find the grid. I want to see that man out there. We want to see that man out there. This, this is lovely Tom. Good luck, Tom. Oh, he's made the blood. Sexy Tom. <laughs> Sexy Brad. Sexy Brad. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>
Yeah. Right, it is five to five, pack up time. They're all packing up down there. Tracy and Daisy have already left. I'm packing up. Yeah, Reynolds. Um, so yeah, first pack up time, so kind of excited to see how it, not excited, kind of interested to see how it all packs up. Um, Luke's a bit disappointed, um, not very happy with some of the, the decisions that have been made. Um, championships is, the championship that we're in at the moment is in, it feels a bit like it's in a transitional stage at the moment. There's a lot of politics involved and um, there are some blurring on the regulations and yeah, so Luke's, um, looks a little bit fed up however I think after he calms down um, a little bit then there'll be some positives because his last drive was epic he did get a he did get a um, a penalty a five second penalty that bumped him back but he's convinced that he wasn't warned about that so he's gonna go back through his footage it doesn't really matter because of the that we're not in a championship fight anymore and the weekend has been in some respects a bit of a write-off we still had tons of fun um, but I think going forward it's important to say like if decisions aren't being made correctly and warnings aren't being um, given before penalties are given then you know it needs to be addressed so Luke's gonna go back through his footage to see if he had been given warnings and if he has he, he, he would definitely go yeah yeah my bad if not he can then go to the organizer and say look doesn't really matter now I wasn't given any warnings doesn't affect me but going forward you know if this had have affected me then it'd be a different story Anyway, enough of that old boring stuff. We're packing up and um, yeah, getting ready to squeeze all this stuff back into its little bags. Hey, how are we? Tough one, wasn't it? It's been a tough one. Yeah. yeah. You have good weekends, you have bad weekends. This was a very, <laughs> very not good one. What I really like about uh, motorsport and the racing that we're doing is there's always like a good vibe, isn't there? That's, I was just being, I was joking, the highs, yeah, the, high, gonna... the highs are euphoric and the lows are brutal. Yeah, it's been a tough one for the, like, for the team in general this weekend, like everyone's been flat out, um, there's been problems across multiple cars, um, I've had plenty of issues, um, but, you know, it's racing, so, so unlucky in that second race, I mean, a little stone just flies through, perfectly clips the uh, auxiliary belt, which uh, stops the auto air going, which stops the water pump, I think, and stuff like that, which means all of a sudden temperature shoots up. Uh, stopped it though, saved the engine, so that's all fine. Survived the last race, and the temperatures were absolutely fine. Uh, only problem was starting from the back, you do have to fight your way through quite a lot of people, and it's fun at first, but some people don't have the best race craft and uh, it was messy. It was really messy. There was a lot of people moving in the braking zones, defending when they didn't need to. Um, that everyone pays a bunch of money to be here, so you know, well, you know, no one owns the track race, but you know, it would have been nice if some people sort of saw my car and thought, oh, might be better when he goes through, I'll just tag along behind rather than swerving sort of the braking zone, crash into me on the straight. <laughs> uh, it was a bit of a pain. We got up to, I think, P13 from 37th, from 37th in the end. We did 12 on that one, I believe. 12 people so not quite the 15 I wanted but almost um, but it, it's it's done now yeah I got a five second penalty shout out to race control uh, both race one and race three I got given a five second time penalty for track limits not once did I get a warning flag for it so thanks again for that um, anyway we're anyway, on we are on to Snetterton on to Snetterton it's gonna be fun um, yeah and we, we're just gonna try and end and on the high with some good racing. But Ooh, my hair is terrible. We've you should a, have told me. I'm we've had a good week. We've up. had, apart from that, we've hung out with some beautiful people. The camping gear was all set up, and we are excited for Sneston. So thanks so much for joining us along. Stay safe. Be kind. I love you. But look after. Uh, your Cheers, is. Cheers, is.